So I've got a 12 by 10 canvas here. It's a grey canvas that's been coated in some transparent colours, Indian yellow, a little bit of magenta, Prussian blue, and a little bit of linseed oil. Every now and again, it's good to blow the cobwebs off and do a little bit of a quick painting. So I'm going into some titanium white just there. I'm going to start just a below halfway and just throw in some white. Just throw in some white. I love these little quick paintings. They're so simple and easy and fun to do. Lovely little wet on wet painting. Okay, so all we're going to do is just float in some whiteness here. Okay, and when we get up to the magenta colours, so subtle there's hardly any colour on the canvas to be honest. I want it mainly white, but some of those colours will show through. Corner of the fan brush just hit, 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 wherever we want, okay? Wherever we want, like that, okay? Flip the brush around and we can do the same up here. We'll get a bit of that blue into play, look at that. There we go. Wherever we want it, that's where it'll live. Okay, some more like so. Sneak in there. Get rid of that. That's just a little bit of colour there. Okay. Magic happens when we start to blend. So, big, dry two-inch brush. And we'll blend. Okay. And we'll blend. And you can see magic happen in the sky. Just like that. And we blend it out. Cool stuff, yeah? Cool stuff. Okay. Now we can just wipe the fan brush on another paper towel lint free paper towel and get some more white and now we can come back in and really define some of this so we'll go there like this so this were a grey canvas that I had grey gesso well it was black and white gesso mixed together but I thought it'd be cool to do this I usually paint little mountains on these kind of grey gesso de canvases you may have seen them so some of the shorts videos but for now we're going to paint like this nice and free nice and easy okay so this is obviously some kind of night scene but there we go back to this big brush give it a bit of a beat and just swirl these clouds around blend them into the canvas very easy very simple to do very simple if you've never painted before this is the painting for you this is the painting for you there we go so now we've got a nice little sky on the go just like that and the colors just jump alive at you don't they they really do right i'm going to get another fan brush now another one okay i'm going to pick up a bit of burnt sienna i think i'm going to pick up burnt sienna Okay, and a touch of the Indian yellow in that. Touch of the Indian yellow, burnt sienna. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a hillside up here. Doesn't have to be crazy. Doesn't have to be big, okay. This is actually some kind of painting that I saw on a little Bob Ross sort of flip charty thing, which has got lots of his little paintings on. So I thought, oh, I'll give this a little quick go. I've got some spare time, got a little bit of spare paint left and I've got a little gray canvas. So we'll just put in something like that. Okay, there we go. Now we can define some of these, these mountains or hills or something like that. I'm gonna get a bit of black on the corner of the fan brush and just shade one side in. Okay, like so. And of course the other ones will want shading in as well. Just a bit of shading here and there. Like that as well. Nice and fun. Nice and free. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna edit this video. Might even leave it in the time when I have a little bit of a slurp. I know some artists like a nice slurp every now and again. Okay, back to, <laughs> they certainly do. Who doesn't? Get some white paint on the brush and we're just gonna pull down pull down like this there is a little bit of color on this gray canvas not much but a little in fact I'm going to grab a bit more of the Indian yellow I want I want it a bit brighter than that there we go look at that and pull down straight down straight across 
There we go, look at that. Easy done, maybe a bit of a magenta. Windsor and Newton's paint, you see. Get lots of funky colours. Yeah, actually, the Indian yellow. The Indian yellow is a Bob Ross paint. But we can paint with anything, can't we? We really can. Big brush again, and we pull straight down again. Okay, and then all the way across. And then we've got some nice light reflections just there like that. Blend to hard and it'll all go away and leave you. Palette knife. Let's take the palette knife and a little bit of brown and black mix on the palette. There we go. Don't have to be too strong. Uh, we'll just put a little bit of land just down here at the base of all this. There we go. Just a bit there. Peter's off. Feathers off there like that. A little bit of land. Okay, wipe the knife. Paper towel again. Okay, let's move into the foreground. Let's grab. Let's dry this brush off. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's get into that colour. Same brownie colour, okay. Maybe add a bit of ochre to that. Okay, like so. One inch brush, and I'm just gonna push up. Push up, push up, push up. Like this. Okay, and all the way around. Mm, yeah, go on, fill it all in, Dan. Fill it all in. There we go, like so. Blacken it off, darken it off in the corners. Draw your eye into the center of the painting. You know this score, folks, you know this score. There we go. We want some big trees now, don't we? On this thing. First, before we do, we'll cut a water line in. Wipe them, make sure the knife's pretty clean. I have a tendency of not cleaning my knives properly. So let's put some water lines in there. Like that. Use liquid white if you want. I'm just gonna use pure titanium white. Make it really sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah. Like that. Mm. Okay. Alright, so we want some big trees. Let's get a let's get a hmm. Well let's use black, blue, and the brownie colours on a filbert brush. Load the brush pretty full, pretty full. Uh, we'll start off here. Touch, 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 touch. Okay, and I use the filbert brush. This is a large Windsor and Newton filbert brush because it gives lots of fantastic evergreeny, hangy downy shapes that I find a bit tricky with a fan brush. However, you might not, you know. Especially on a small canvas like this. Okay, there we go. Let's put a couple on the other side, yeah? Can't leave the other side out. Touch, 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 touch. Get your basic gist of your evergreen. And then just work on it. Side to side, up and down, back to forward. Who cares? Who cares? Over everything, over everything. A bit more paint. Down we come. Nice simple little paint in this. Lets you use up the rest of the paint on the palette. Lets you just let your hair down, there's no stress. Just pure happiness. There we go. There we go. We put some of those bluey colours down here as well. Like that. Save the brush because we'll use it for highlights when we mix it with the uh, the uh, the yellows. Okay, let's take some of these browns. Oh, we've not got much brown left. Okay, but, but what we've got, we'll use. So just a touch of brown in there, like so. Bit of tree trunk. No stress, no fear. Just love the art. Okay, point up there, beautiful stuff. Back to this brush now. In fact, just before we do that, I'm just gonna zip off the excess like that. Zip off the excess paint. There we go. That'll stop it all mixing into 
into silly stuff. Okay, so I picked up, I accidentally picked up a bit of red, but I've got a bit of green in there and all the different colours that are already on this, this brush. I've got to stop hitting that red. This, this is the problem with this small palette. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to touch on this side and the highlight will come from this side because this hillside detects that or indicates that and we'll just put some highlights on some of these trees just like that easy peasy easy peasy lemon squeezy i tell thee there we go all the way down to the bottom work it work it work it there we go and then let's go same on the other side let's pick up some more of the yellows so again, touching the top, down we come. Oh, and over the top of the shadows, make sure you've got plenty of paint in your brush. There we go, that's better, that's better. You see that now, you can see that coming to life. There. Yeah, some artists like a good drink and a slurp, and so do I. I think it's only tea that they drink. Maybe sometimes wine, though, I see some some wine out there in the art world but when we're relaxing anything is possible in fact after i get this tree done i'm going to have a little bit of a slurp myself i'm doing this and i'm meant to be cleaning the studio out oh well there we go bring it all down to the bottom and we got it we got it okay Wipe the knife off. Some of these water lines may be a bit strong. So we'll just zip them out. Zip them out of the action. There we go. That's a bit better. I think that's a bit better. I don't know about you. Drinking a slurp, guys. Yorkshire's finest ale. I'll not tell you what it is. <laughs> Wipe off the froth. Okay, right, let's work on some of these uh, trees down in the in the bottom. So let's grab that same one inch brush that we had to put them in. All the dirty colours on there. And we'll go into all the yellows. Again, we're just using what we've got on the palette. Doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see if this sticks. If it doesn't stick, we'll uh, just add a little bit of thinners. Or... There we go. It's looking okay. I think it's looking okay. bit more up there so you want to round off the corner of your one inch brush just to just to make the rounded edges of you know these these bushes and shrubs and shrubbery shrubbery is that a word i think i used that about four years ago on a video and someone says that's not even a word well we know it is we know what we're talking about well sometimes there we go nearly at the finished painting i'm going to put a bit of red on some of them because red is a color that we like which is pretty close to us draws everything close at the foreground pushes everything back so a few little red leaves here and there and i think we've got a finished painting oh such a simple little painting this it's not very uh very taxing something that a beginner could easily easily do if you do something like this though please send me something that you've done you know i'd love to see your work and share it with everybody on the channel um subscribe if you've not done so please like the video and i tell you what let's finish a beer together a nice drink and a slurp so until next time take care of yourself stay safe happy days cheers